Have you guys heard about this new supermodel who is exploding on Instagram? Her name is Aitana Lopez. She's from Barcelona, 25 years old, Spanish model. There's one problem though. She's 100% completely fabricated and made by AI. This is massively disturbing and there are gonna be a lot of things that are fundamentally gonna be shifting with the way that we create, receive, and interact with AI content on social media from now until virtually the end of time. This is something that if you're thinking about AI, you need to be paying attention to. And if you're not thinking about AI or if you're turning your nose up at AI, you need to be paying attention because this is crazy. There's gonna be a lot of severe repercussions and evolutions to social media because of this. Let's dive in. You guys, I've been talking about AI and its implications with social media since ChatGPT released their model last November. The writing has been on the wall that it's going to shift the way that we do content. And it has in a huge way. In fact, I'm gonna talk about some of the things that YouTube is saying that they're gonna be doing. They just released a blog article a couple weeks ago. I'm gonna talk about what they're gonna be doing to help direct the use of AI in the social media platform. I'm also going to show you a video here in just a second of an AI bot that is looks like one of my buddies. My buddy paid to have his face put on this AI and they did it. They did it all in his room and it looks 100% real and almost sounds real and it is mind boggling. So I'm going to show you that here in just a minute too. But I want to talk to you guys about this AI model, Aitana, and the reason that she was created. So I found this article. This is the OEON, YN News, Y, YO News. This is YONews.com. Never heard of it before, but they shared the story. So this is where I'm looking at it. So the reason that she was created, here's what's fascinating. And this is why if you're on Instagram as an influencer, you need to pay attention to this. Now, this is not to sound arrogant. It's not to be mean. Supermodels have a shelf life. And I think everybody in the world knows that. Most supermodels have a shelf life and that's when they hit a point where they are no longer hired because of their age or their look has changed or they have just evolved into a person that is no longer as attractive to the people who are hiring them they are replaced now the thing with Aitana is that because she's an AI model she will never change she will never look any different she can continue to grow her social media presence as long as they're being creative with the content the reason that she was created was because Ruben Cruz was tired of working with supermodels and their egos and what they were requesting for how much money they wanted to be an influencer. So he's like, screw you, I'm gonna go to AI and create my own model. And he's done this, and now Aitana is making $10,000 a month from her social media. She also apparently has an OnlyFans called, oh no, it's called FanView, which is similar to OnlyFans. I actually don't recommend that you even go to her Instagram account because it's a little bit racy, so I wouldn't do that. And she's also become the face of a sports supplement company. So this AI image, AI depiction of a person is getting hired to do all of these brand deals, all these endorsements, and she's selling scantily clad pictures of herself on her little fan view thing. This has been a major revenue model for her creator. And this is not the last time that this is going to happen. This is the first of many. There's a couple things I want to say about this and I want to talk about Instagram. Number one, she has gained over 208,000 followers since the account started. And just in the last couple of weeks, she's gained almost 100,000 subscribers or 100,000 followers on Instagram. So she is exploding. If you're a fashion model on Instagram, I'd be terrified right now because they're giving her a personality. They're pretending like she's going to all these major events. She's doing appearances. Like there's a picture on her Instagram of her going to the Blink-182 concert, wherever that was, probably in Spain. And so she's doing all of these major celebrity things and people are following her in mass. Like people are going crazy over the content because they've done such a good job of giving her a personality. Now, I don't know what's more insulting if it's just really easy to fabricate a supermodel's personality on social media or if it's just really easy to pull one over on the masses thinking maybe that this is a real human being but it's just interesting how fast she's grown now the reason that this is a problem for instagram is because it exposes a major hole in their platform the hole is people can fabricate accounts they can fabricate pictures they can fabricate moments and they can get a reaction from audiences this is a major problem for instagram and the reason that it's a problem is because if anybody can fabricate anything then who is going to want to come to the platform 
harm if everybody knows that the content is fake, if everybody knows that the content is made up. And so platforms right now are scrambling. I'm, I told you I'm going to talk to you about what YouTube's doing, but platforms are scrambling because they know that AI is going to shift their user experience. And if people stop coming to the platform because there's too much AI content saturating things, then they're going to lose revenue because nobody's going to be watching ads. That's the revenue model. Come to the platform, watch ads. If they come to the platform and all they see is a sea of AI content, that's problematic for the social media giants. That's going to create issues. Now, I have been extremely cautious about AI over the last year, and I have made some predictions with AI. Some of the things I've talked about is that AI is going to be dominating the faceless YouTube channel industry, the faceless YouTube channel category. But not only that, but in just a second, I'm going to show you a video. I think it's going to be dominating some of the face, the faced content, because it's really easy to have your avatar, your likeness uploaded into these programs and have these programs spit out content for you. We're at a very interesting tipping point, folks. I want to know your thoughts. Leave them down in the comments below. This isn't just a one man show. I want to hear from you guys, too. I want to hear your perspective. I'm going to show you this. This is fascinating. Ready? This is my buddy Austin Armstrong. You need to know about. Each of these tools I'm about to share builds upon the last. So make sure you watch until the end because this is a powerful combo of AI tools. We're starting our- Okay, so what's interesting about this is this is Austin's likeness. He looks exactly like this. They're moving his mouth in sync with the things that he's saying. They're using his hands, hand movement, and people aren't even sure that this is AI generated. They edited the video exactly like you would edit any other normal YouTube video. He used his voice like this. So everything sounds like him, looks like him, edited like he would edit a piece of content. Where does this go from here, guys? Like I'm being real, like where does this go from here? This is sketchy stuff. Okay, so let's talk about what platforms are doing to help solve this problem. Number one, whenever there is any type of new advancement in technology, there are always tools that come alongside of it. So we have AI content detectors for ChatGPT stuff, and I think a lot of this is gonna be used in academia, but what kind of tools are they gonna be able to create to decipher what is real or not real when it comes to video? As the technology improves, it's going to be way more difficult to figure out what is real and what's not real. So YouTube released this a couple weeks ago. This was on their official blog. So basically what it boils down to is they're requiring content labels for synthetic content. So if you're using AI voices, if you're using AI imagery, if you're using AI in the video, whoops the daisies YouTube's gonna make you specify. So they say, we believe it's in everyone's interest to maintain a healthy ecosystem of information on YouTube. We have long-standing policies that prohibit technically manipulated content that misleads viewers and may pose a serious risk of egregious harm. However, AI's powerful new forms of storytelling can also be used to generate content that has the potential to mislead viewers, particularly if they're unaware that the video has been altered or synthetically created. If I were on YouTube staff, this would have come out 10 months ago because it's already like massively a problem. So then they talk about uh, addressing the concerns and then requiring people to label their content specifically will require creators to disclose when they've created altered or synthetic content that is realistic, including using AI tools. When creators upload content, we'll have new options for them to select, indicate that it contains realistic, altered, or synthetic material. I don't want to be a doom and gloomer. I really don't, because I see the benefit of AI. Like, it's a tool that we use virtually every single day in our YouTube agency. Like, we use it all the time for ideation and, and just to simplify frameworks and scripts and titles. But the problem is that whenever a new piece of technology comes out, there's always a segment of the population who sees it as a easy button. Unfortunately, that segment of the population is the vast majority, probably 99% of people. If they were given an opportunity, an easy button that they knew was in the gray area, they would take it. And then it would completely saturate everything and require new laws, new regulations, new rules on social media platforms in order to curtail that negative impact. This is what we're seeing right now. There have been a lot of people who have started to abuse AI and fabricate entire personas based on AI and trick people into believing that it's an actual real human. We've seen this with AI voice technology calling up grandparents and saying, Grandma, I'm stuck, blah, blah, blah. Please send me money scamming people. We've seen it in faceless channels. How many times do you hear that those TikTok voices, those TikTok AI generated voices over content using that as a voiceover? 
for content. It's happening all the time right now. In my opinion, we really genuinely do need to do something about it because the direction that we're heading is oversaturation. And once things are oversaturated, it's going to ruin platforms. So anyway, it's my two cents. I want to hear from you guys. Leave it down in the comments. What do you think about AI? What do you think about this? What do you think about Atana? What do you think about that video that I showed you? That is something wild. All right, leave it in the comments. Check this video out next. Catch you on the next one. Bye.